in Nepal, three quarter of its population lives in rural areas where there is hardly any access to higher education. And state of uh, rural economy is such that majority of people cannot afford to go to the cities to acquire higher education. As a result, most of the rural youth end up working in menial jobs in um, urban Nepal or uh, in India, Middle East, Malaysia and countries around Nepal. And those small number of Nepalese who could go, um, afford to come to the cities and acquire good quality education, they end up staying in the cities or even they may move to the foreign countries and settle there and never go back. And the result of this is that rural Nepal is full of women, children, elderly and greatly underprivileged people and transforming their life has become a really uphill battle for Nepal. And the people who have gone to cities and other countries are still connected to the rural routes and they are connected to Nepal and they are willing to contribute to Nepal. However, there is no institutional mechanism to connect them from wherever they are living, whichever job they are working on and while they are with their families to the people of Nepal so that they do not lose their surroundings while helping Nepal with knowledge and skills they had acquired. And also, all around the world there are great institutions where the knowledge is freely available. These institutions were making knowledge available. However, we have no institutional mechanism to harvest that knowledge and take it to the people of Nepal. That is why Open University of Nepal was conceived to make it possible for Nepalese people to acquire knowledge from around the world while living in their homes and communities and making it possible for the poor people also to acquire knowledge. And Open University of Nepal has been conceived based on five principles. The first principle is the public and universal access to higher education and the second is the quality principle where the quality delivered by this institution should be at par with the world so that it is fully accredited and fully recognized by the world and thirdly the education should be delivered wherever people are living not it should require that people come back to the city to acquire education and it should be delivered at a time that is convenient to the people. And fourthly, it should respond to the current and contemporary employment need of the people and knowledge need of the people. And fifthly, it should be sustainable so that it would serve the people for a long time to come. And that's why the non-resident Nepalese association and Athabasca University and Canada Foundation for Nepal are collaborating with the government of Nepal to build Open University of Nepal as an institution that could serve Nepalese for a long time to come and we would like you all to come on board and be part of it. People who love Nepal and people who love education should all help and make this institution a success. Thank you.